Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell, and we're going to knock some guys down with Charles Bronson and James Coburn in Walter Hill's Magnificent Hard Times. Now, tell me, how'd you make money? I knocked people down. Even though Charles Bronson was one of the greatest tough guy stars in the history of Hollywood, it's still kind of sad when you look over his career and see how few of the movies he made were worthy of him. Uh, and he made a lot of movies, but there were a few and they were great. There's movies like The Magnificent Seven and The Dirty Dozen. Of course, the greatest movie ever made is Once Upon a Time in the West, and he's great in that, uh, and a handful of others. But for me, the standout, titanic Charles Bronson performance, the one that just explains it all, is Hard Times. It's absolutely his greatest role. It makes perfect use of his presence and of his quiet power. The guy looked like a street brawler. This is Walter Hill's first feature film as a director. He'd previously written some terrific movies, including The Getaway for Sam Peckinpah and the criminally unknown Hickey and Boggs, which starred Robert Culp and Bill Cosby, uh, who had just finished up a great run on I Spy. It's one of the great hard-boiled detective movies and worth looking out for. Hill's one of the great spare filmmakers. There's never a wasted moment or a line or a shot in any of his films. Everything serves a purpose, and nothing is over-explained. It's kind of funny because so many movies today are just overstuffed with exposition and backstory. It seems like now we have to be told every single tiny thing that might explain who a character is, why he does what he does, what's torturing him, what makes him get up in the morning, what he eats for breakfast. There's none of that here, though, thankfully, because Hill knew that if you cast the movie right, all those questions will never come up. It's the Great Depression, and when Bronson walks on screen in that cap and says, I knock guys down, you know everything you need to know about him. He's a street fighter who makes his living in pickup fights. James Coburn is just as good as Speed, Bronson's fast-talking and morally shaky manager. Strother Martin is his typically awesome self as Poe, the drug-addicted doctor who travels with him. There's a very sweet love story in it, too, with Bronson's real-life wife, Jill Ireland. And I don't want to say too much more than that, because if you haven't seen this film, you need to. But it's got some great fight scenes in it that are beautifully orchestrated and directed. Walter Hill continues to be a terrific filmmaker to this day, but what a run this guy had right out of the gate. Check this list. Hard Times, The Driver, The Warriors, The Long Riders, Southern Comfort, 48 Hours, and in the middle of all that, he somehow managed to produce Alien. That's a hell of a career right there.